I've got a bunch of stuff from our bag again. Well, I've got a few things here. Oh, I know what these are. This stuff? No idea. We'll find out. Let's see what's in here. Don't forget to subscribe if it's your first time here. Or you might miss out on my future videos. You, you know, might like this one and forget to subscribe and not find me ever again. So make sure you do that. What on earth is this? This looks like a industrial kind of drill bit case kind of thing. Ah! It's a little torque spanner. So this is meant for doing up like SMA connectors, although this is a bit more chunky than I was expecting. Yes, yeah, so you've got an SMA connector, like on here. The idea is you can use that to do them up and you get the right torque. Because it all just clamps over when it gets to the right one. Um, that's the plan anyway. And it's got an adjustment in there. I've got no idea what adjustment range is. It was mentioned in the listing. But there's like an Allen key in here. You just do that up to increase the spring tension. So it's just because it's just on like a toggle thing which pops over. We'll go either way. it has got a detent here. And this has got basically a ball bearing inside here. Which... Uh, pops into that detent. So that's a, that force of popping that spring out is what acts as a torque. I don't know, it wasn't that expensive. I think it was, well, it's about 20 bucks, I don't know what I think it was. Yeah, I got that because I'm thinking, oh, I'll, I'll keep doing these kinds of connectors and not actually getting them taught. I'm just sort of doing them where I think they should be. I mean, if you're doing connections, you should really have a consistent talking method, so it's always done the same way. Um, this could also be talked up like that, and then there we go, that's now talked. So, I thought it would be a good idea to get one. Let's have a look at the instructions. There's probably much better ones to use, probably are better ones, but um, I don't want to spend a lot of money on this. Because up until now I've been getting away with it just fine. And it's all in Chinese. Operating instructions is the only bit that's in English. That's really helpful. What's on this one? Okay, yes, well, yeah, no idea. I can see Newton meters on there. Is that a set of one Newton meter? Mission Newton meters up here, one Newton meters. Maybe that's like its range or something. I don't know, I might have to translate these and figure it out, but this mission is one Newton meter down here as well. I'll have to translate that on my phone, I think. But yeah, that's right. I should figure that out at some point. Maybe it's set to one user meter. I've got no idea. What's it supposed to be set to? Anyone know? If you do know, chuck it down below in the comments. What do you think they should be set to? I've got no idea. Thanks to my Patreon supporters as well. It's all really much appreciated. It helps to support the channel, help them to buy things from Mailbag, helps them entertain you, helps them to buy things to fix as well. Money from that goes towards repairs. Use that to uh, buy a bit of broken test gear and so on. Don't forget to check out the links down below as well. Oh look, BMS modules. <laughs> so yeah, these are two cell BMS modules. I featured these previously on Mailbag because I've used these in, well, in these actually. So if I open it up, you see there's one sitting in there right now. BMS sitting right there. So I've used them for that, and I've used them all. I've, I've used all the ones I needed for the project, so I've actually got those built. But I didn't have any left, so I wanted to get some more. And these took ages to arrive, currently the postal systems being extremely slow. So, yeah, anyway, at least I've now got some. And I can uh, at least know I've got some spares, which is always a good thing to have. It's always good having spares. Here's some PCBA. People are going to get sick of me promoting PCBA because I've been doing it a lot recently and I've been mentioning them quite a bit. Sorry about that if it's annoying you. So PCBA are celebrating six years. Very shortly, I think it's been the next couple of weeks. At least at the time of recording this. I'm not sure when you see this mailbag actually. It might be afterwards. I mean, anyway, they're celebrating six years. So they've decided to send me a little gift pack. I didn't ask for this. I just I got a notification saying they sent it to me. And it's like, oh, okay, what well, they send to me. And then here it is. So you've got some PCBA stickers, six years, yep, okay. Nice ruler. It's very similar to one I've already got. Is it just a different colour? I've already got this one here. 
that way around. Had it right the first time around. So I think it's the same board layout. Looks identical, just different colour. So I've got two of those rulers now, it's quite nice. Come in handy sometimes. Yeah, they're both the same layouts, exactly the same parts. So, got a nice black one now. I think the black one looks a lot nicer than the green one actually. Because it's gold plated, inked. So, it looks really nice. That's good. And they're giving us a badge, it looks like. Yeah. Pin retainer thing. And the 60 badge, I guess this lights up, does it? Takes our CR2032. There you grab one. Nice, right, so we've got battery. Let's drop that in. And there's a power switch up here. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. This not doing anything. Oh, there we go. It's not a seed properly. Pushed it in too far. Here we go. Flashy lights. Everyone likes flashy lights, don't they? Yeah. Be good for the Christmas tree. Chuck on a Christmas tree at Christmas time, and you know you got some good, you know, flashy lights. It's quite cool. It's nice patterns. That's what I use the other ones for anyway. And next thing, it's a shirt. Oh no! And there's another piece of weight pen and a shirt. Trust me, I'm a PCB wire. Right. Is that like a dragon design? It must, it must be a dragon, isn't it? What do you reckon? Dragon? I think so. Actually, it feels like quite a nice shirt, actually. And it's got a few on the back as well. A little logo there. Piece around the sleeve. Cool. Thanks, PCB wire, for sending it to me. I didn't ask you what size shirt I was, though. I wonder what size this is. I'm not exactly slim. Find it actually, it must be a tag somewhere. Large, yeah, it might be right. L large can be a bit tight on me sometimes. I used to be a large, I've got larger. <clears throat> anyway, that's how I fold clothes, and my wife drives me nuts. Well, that's not right, it drives my wife nuts. Three buck converters. So these are 9 volt buck converters. These actually arrived quite quickly. I only ordered these about two weeks ago, I think, actually. So I've had some stuff which has taken months to arrive, and other stuff which takes two weeks. Bit of weird. Although stuff which has arrived after months has been in New Zealand for about two months before they sent it to me from Auckland, which is about an hour's drive away. Anyway. <laughs> yes. 9 volt buck converters. Three of them on there. Just break them off as I need them. So I thought I didn't have any 9 volt buck converters, so I thought I'll just get a couple because they'd be handy to have. And these are potentially changeable as well, because they, they do have different options voltages on the back there. And um, they also set the voltage based upon the resistor values they use on this board. So you can actually change them if you really want to dig into that. You can probably research a chip that's on there. Can we see what that is? MP1584EN. Right, anyway, not that exciting. Here's what it is. Buck converter. Yeah. Don't forget to check out the links down below for various items. I usually have links down there. So, fuses. Little glass fuses. 0.1 amp. So, 100 milliamp fuses. I did buy a whole bunch of fuses about two months ago. And it's obviously, only these ones only just arrived. I purchased a whole bunch of different ones. And I realised that I've got things like these Datrons which use a very small fuse and I didn't have anything small enough so um, I've had to like, up the rating basically by double in order to um, fuse and I think oh, I should get a selection of small fuses so now I've got a selection of small fuses well a couple of small fuses I've got more coming yay finally <laughs> these are probably the replacement ones I purchased yeah, there'd be 10 in there. So yeah, these are the replacements. So these are these sockets I was talking about before for these things. Right, well, I need to put sockets on these to finish the project, right? These and the, and the power supply section. And I ordered 20, they haven't arrived. So I waited 
as about four months ago and all of those. So all the ten more, they've now arrived, and that was two months after the first lot. So the twenty I originally ordered disappeared, and the ten lot I bought purchased as replacement has at least arrived. So I can finish doing some of that at least. Still need to do the buck converters though, which is what I need to put in there. I'll, I'll bet you use those my volt ones actually. Actually, I think I got these as potential ones to use in there because it only actually needs nine volts because the batteries it's running on it uses two 18650s in series and it's also got a BMS in there as well so that actually floats up the negative side of the batteries to make sure they set the correct voltage so fully charging those you want about sort of 8.7 volts or so around there when it's fully charging so this can do 9 volts so I think I actually did intend to get these to put in here instead of having variable ones like the other ones I built I have variable adjustments in there so I can, I can tune the voltage inside which is supplying the BMS so it's only doing minimal work so it's not overloading the voltage too much so it's not floating up too much so I've got a bit of a cushion there but I'm setting those around 9 volts those variable ones which is why I think I've got these ones I might just use these actually so it means I've probably got the stuff I need to finish doing those which is great I wanted to finish those for months ah okay 741C. That's what I can make out from that. I might need to use a real knife, we'll see we go. Alright, no, no, here we end. So here are four MAA 741C. These are op amps. These got gold leads on them. They're quite nice ones. Apparently new old stock. But you never quite know, do you? They could be fake, they could be real. Don't know. They look the part. I don't doubt them actually, they look about right. I think the Dashron's had one of these and yeah Dashron's got some like this in there. I think it had a different version, these ones got gold leads. The Dashron ones I think didn't have gold leads but it's a variant of them. So I got these in case I needed them for that. I think I already had something similar anyway. They weren't that expensive, I think it was like 20 bucks for the lot, something like that. Maybe slightly more. So I thought I'll get them because I'll probably need them one day for something even if I don't use them with the Dashron's. Because I like to get spares when I can see them and hopefully have them for the future. Because who knows what I'll be fixing next week. So I already know what's in here. It's a little bit different. Hopefully there's no invoices that are going to fall out. Okay. A Z442 oil filter. Z411 oil filter. A A1348 air filter. And an A360 air filter. It's time to service vehicles, and actually, well overdue, actually, to be honest. One of the vehicle that uh, this air filter and this oil filter are for, we've had that vehicle now for about a year and a half, and I kind of haven't got around to servicing it yet. <clears throat> so it's probably you know, well and truly due. So I need to do an oil change on that and that sort of stuff. So I found a site locally in New Zealand which will sell these without problem. So, um, I was actually browsing for them actually, I was trying to find out what filters the vehicle needed and the site popped up, I thought oh, I might as well get them from there I mean sure you can buy them from like, auto parts stores up like that so I thought I'd just, I could both go to a shop to be honest <laughs> order them online, why not? wasn't much more and these ones here are for my car now I already actually had some spare ones left over so I serviced my car last week but I like to have some ready for the next time I want to service it so now I've got a set here ready for the next service for my car I also need to do my motorhome, that's due as well. Yeah, I'm not going to record videos doing that, you know, I'm not a mechanics channel. Although I do have some videos recorded and other repairs for other things I've done. And stuff which I haven't published yet, I've got a whole bunch of videos there for like lawnmower repairs and stuff like that. So maybe I'll do those one day if there's interest. I don't know, maybe it needs a second channel for that, I'm not sure. Or third channel, because I've already got a second channel, which is my dash cam stuff. Lots of swearing in those videos, so just warning. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, oil field is not that exciting. At least now I've got stuff I service that car. I might even do it today, so the weather's alright. We'll see how we go. So if you found it interesting, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if you've not been here before. All the usual stuff, you know. Check out the Patreons, which are supporting my channel. Just make them up next in a minute and you'll see a big list of them. Help me to buy things in my bag and apparently help me to service my car too. Check out my playlist at the end of the video. Check out some more videos, watch some more stuff. Watch more. Always watch more. And um, yeah, I fix stuff. But I'm not doing my bags. Bye.